and welcome to Web Crawlers. This is our mailbag episode where we play your voicemails and read your reviews if we have any. I'm Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. Do we have any reviews? I didn't think we had any. No, we don't. Oh, ball sack. Well, son let's, of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Let's get on to those. Uh, we got a couple of emails. Oh, shit. What's going on there? We got an email from Nicole. The subject is Typhoon Lagoon. Oh. Oh. Says, oh. oh, oh. Back in mm-hmm. the mid-90s, I went to Typhoon Lagoon as a 12-year-old. I went down the Humunga Cowabunga. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, oh no. Humunga Cowabunga and somehow a chunk of skin on my back ripped off. <gasps> this is bad. I still have a numb spot there. It's oh my god! Fun. It's fun when it itches in that area. <laughs> oh my god! My dad also tore his foot up in the bottom of the wave pool. Cool. Love you, ladies. I'm starting to think this humunga calabunga isn't very calabunga. It's still open, right? Yeah. Humunga calabunga. What? I need a picture of this. Humunga Kawabunga. It's like that tube. Oh, there's like three of them. Three tu- three tubes. I mean... That's scary. You gotta sand the inside. Make it smooth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Cover it in some that shellac up. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. We have another email... It's like, I am a victim of this. <laughs> we should do a class action lawsuit against Humunga Calabunga. Yes. It'd be like the Salino and Barnes of the Salino Humunga Calabunga. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, they hunger everything. Have you gotten an atomic wedgie on the Humunga Calabunga? Have you Calabunga? An atomic Call wedgie? Call 626. <laughs> oh, we got an email from Floor. Oh, Floor. Oh, because we asked her to send pics of <laughs> her wedding. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was from last month. Uh, hey, chicas. First, I just want to say how amazing you are. And I'm going to totally fan out on you gals. Like for reals, you make my day so much better when it gets crazy with daily work shit. Sometimes some people will just be negative for no reason. And I just come to a point in my life that if you can't hang, then my train will keep going and I don't have time or space in my life for you. And Ooh, you girls yes, seem the same. <laughs> Calling in and leaving a voicemail has gotten easier, but I freak out the whole time. And when I'm done, I overanalyze it. Why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? And my notes didn't help me at all. Yes, I have notes when I call. I love how many people have notes, have notes. when they call. It's so I cute. Get it. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, we have a trip for... Uh, January to LA and I can't wait. Hopefully we can do everything we planned here. Some pictures uh, of her wedding. Oh, these are nice. They're in the email. These look at these are nice. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Yeah, look at these. Oh, that's so sweet. What a pretty dress. Oh, I oh know. Disneyland. Is that Disneyland? That's a cool dress. I love that. That is so cute. I love a poofy, poofy skirt bottom. Me too. Well, how wonderful. Okay, let's get into these voice mails. Hi, it's not 90 Day Fiance Amanda. And hi, I'm calling in about um, the vaginal destruction of that lady. And <laughs> vaginal and destruction. I- when I was a teenager, like 17 or 18, I went to a water park in the area I live, and I decided to go down one of those mm. slides, and they told us to, like, cross our legs the whole time we go down, but, like, nobody tells you to clench, and I oh. was going down, and I could not keep my, my legs crossed or my arms crossed, and I was freaking out, and when I got to the bottom, I got what I can only describe as bum blasted by water and so I get out of the pool and I just have this load of water and I'm like I can't just walk around in front of my friends and just dump a load of water out of my butthole so like <gasps> I had to hold it in until I could go to the bathroom and it was like why do they not tell you that you should like clench your butthole and your vagina I mean it wasn't as bad as that lady but 
um, I can understand how something like that could happen. All right, well, good luck on water slides. Bye. Oh, no. It really seems like water slides are deadly. I d- don't go on water slides. No, don't do it. This is uh, bad that's, news. And also, that's got to be bad for you if you got all this, this like gross water park water uh, yeah, back going to inside li- your body. Listeria water going It's up basically your... like swallowing it. Yeah, it is not good. Oh. It's like putting vodka up your butt to get drunk. Oh, no, yeah, butt chugging. Butt chugging. That's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Butt chugging. How does that even work? I don't know. Okay, next message. Hey, guys. It's Joran again. Sorry. Hi. I, I'm calling too much. Okay. I always have, and I no. continue to do so, but I'm going to try to cut back. Anyway, um, as a devoted listener... I also am listening to the 90 Day Fiance episode. Oh, yeah, I mentioned this. One thing that can, I think, help us out, those of us who are in the same boat as me, is do do the 90 days come in anywhere? Like, what what does the name of it even mean? It seems like it's just long-distance relationships. Is Is that all that's happening? So... Maybe take a moment and explain what the title of the sh- show has to do with what's actually happening on the show. That would be cool. Okay. Love Seems you guys angry. forever. Uh, bye. So, yeah, I mentioned this voicemail on last week's 90 Day yes. Fiance Recap. But, yes, the 90 Days does come into play. Yes. That's how long you have... To get married when you get a K-1 visa. Yes. But yes, if you listen to last week's 90 Day, we we explain it more in depth. We do. All the spinoffs and everything. Yeah, how it works, logistics. All the logistics of it. Of the the 90 Day. The 90 Day universe. Universe. There's like 30 spinoffs. It's insane. Okay, next message. Hi, web crawlers. This is my first time calling. Ooh, and welcome. from Ohio. I actually am calling because I have never watched an episode of 90 Day Fiance <laughs> in my entire life, mm-hmm. but I've been listening to your... This is amazing. Uh, Crazy. Recap, recaps. The recaps. <laughs> and I have three small kids. I just have to tell you lately, I've been saying, I love you, chicken. Oh, my God. That's funny. Ridiculous. So for everybody else that hasn't watched, I am another one. I add me to the list of another one. You know, the weirdo web crawler, 90 day fiance, accidental understanding and love, even though I've never watched the show. So. All right. Thanks. Bye. Boy. (laughs) Wow. That is so funny. It must, I mean, we must be so good at recapping I mean, the show that people seriously, are into it. That's cr- really crazy. So congrats to us. I appreciate it. I appreciate it too, yeah. Believe me, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, and if you ever catch an episode, maybe you watch an episode or two. You don't have to watch the whole thing just to get the vibe. You might like it. You never know. You might like it. You might like it. Okay, next message. Hey, you love crawlers. So I'm listening to you talk about King Gino and Queen Queen Chapman from my yes. Day Fiance. Yes. And I'm obsessed. I love it. But regarding plastic surgery, here is what I know. Ooh. In um two thousand twelve, uh I got a nose job for five thousand dollars. Oh. By a top plastic surgeon. Ooh. And Drop today in. it costs Twenty thousand dollars from the same plastic surgeon. <gasps> um, Ten years. Boobs in 2015, they were fourteen thousand dollars. Mm, oh. They're about twenty thousand dollars now. Same and a BBL in Beverly Hills will run you about thirty-five thousand dollars. Whoa! <laughs> so those are the prices. Um, 30. and one more thing, actually. I have a question for the amazing yes. web crawlers. Who 
is Jeffrey Campbell. I mean, I know we all wore Leas in, you know, like 2010. The shoe. But who is that guy? You know, I have like 20 Jeffrey Campbell shoes. No idea who he is or she is. I don't know if I have any Jeffrey. We have to investigate. Bye. Love you. Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Yeah, that dude's been around for ever. Oh wait, what were the? I think I still I still look at Jeffrey Campbell sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they have cute shoes. Were those the like platform, like flip flop platforms? Oh, like oh, you know what I'm talking like about? the wedge, like the wedge. I think sandal that's... thing. Who is Jeffrey Campbell? Is that the? I wonder if that's the name of the company or if that's a guy. Let's see. Jeffrey I don't know, but they Campbell. still they still have cute shoes. Oh yeah. Let's see. Jeffrey Campbell and his wife. They're kind of expensive now. Shoe designer Jeffrey Campbell just bought a sleek Chelsea loft. Oh. 2016. Shoe legend Jeffrey Campbell once dubbed the JD Salinger of platform shoes due to his rather That's reclusive weird. nature. Well, that's kind of cool. And of course, his sky high platform designs. The designer rarely gives interviews, takes few photos. There's not even a standard about bio section on his website. We do know that his wife, Christine, he and his wife just bought a 3.5 bathroom, three bedroom pre war pad in Chelsea in New York. They paid $5 million for it. You know who's also a reclusive shoemaker? Who? <laughs> the Keebler. Daniel the Day Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> he's a co- he's a cobbler in his spare time when he's not when he's not filming movies. Wait, really? Yeah, for real. They're making a phantom thread joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although that would make sense. But no, he like is a cobbler. He like makes shoes. Really? It, that makes so much sense. Also, there is the hottest photo of him that was just posted with him and um, uh, Bradley Cooper walking around New York. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Are you looking? Are you looking at the photo? I'm looking at the cobbler. Let's see. Daniel Day-Lewis. You're going to see it. Six days ago. Yeah, you're going to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He okay. said, okay. 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 He's looking okay, hot as hell. Abraham out. Lincoln. <laughs> also, I didn't realize a Brazilian butt lift is they just transfer fat from one place in your body and put it into your butt. Is that really what they do? That's what it says. It says a Brazilian butt lift is a surgery where a doctor transfers fat from your belly, hips, lower back, or thighs to your buttocks. The result is more of an hourglass shaped figure with larger buttocks. It's not an actual lift because it doesn't raise your buttocks. It increases it's not the volume. Implants? No, I guess it. So I guess that that's maybe because people were roasting Jasmine's surgery. So, like, I guess I can understand maybe that's why it isn't smooth all the time if it's just she like said fat she said implants right or did she say a butt lift i think I she, said she said bbl oh or maybe butt implants i don't know huh i guess because you can also get butt implant right yeah and i bet the bbl is more extensive because it's because it's natural it's all just fat wait a minute butt implants are permanent Oh, but I would imagine, but, oh, but the fat, the fat can go away probably if you like work out or lose weight. Well, right. Because, you know, we have a mutual friend, Angela Trimber, who's like very public about her um, breast cancer j- journey. And she yeah. had fat um, grafting to rebuild her, her breasts. And she posted right. this all on Instagram. And the problem was the fat kept uh dissolving yeah because the fat just like goes away or like you don't and know she, what and it's... she works out a lot like she, I mean, well she yeah she's all a, day long she's so. a dancer so i guess that it feels like it would i mean 
Is it permanent, the BBL? I mean, I guess. So I, I think the butt implants, yes. The BBL, probably no. And I right, imagine that's, if you work it could out. lose its shape and stuff. Yeah, because it, it burns fat. Huh. Oh, wait, but then this says Jasmine got a Brazilian butt lift. But then it says implants. I think it's implants. She says implants in the show, right? I can't remember. Feels like implants are cheaper. But $35,000. That's it. Feels Crazy. like it would be cheaper than breast implants or a nose job, right? Because it's just—I would think so. It's just—it's like lipo, kind of. Right. It's shocking that a nose job is the same price as breast implants. It's—I mean, I—I I don't get it. I feel like nose jobs should be the most expensive because that yeah, feels cause you're like you're actually like restructuring someone what they actually sculpt, look like, sculpting. Yeah. Their nose. Next message. I'm calling with a secret. Maria is my twin flame. I'm calling with a secret. Melissa is my twin flame. Maria is my twin flame. Oh, that said Maria? Play it again. I thought that said Melissa. I'm calling with a Maria. Maria. I wonder who that was. Uh oh. Who could that be? I don't know. It's a secret. We'll never know. Wow. Exciting, Maria. Yeah, Maria, you got a uh you got a secret admirer. That's fun. Wait, is that all the voicemails we have? Oh, no, I think that's all the voicemails we have. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote, kids. That's, that's a it? good story to end on. <laughs> wow. Oh, A special 15-minute mailbag episode for you folks out there. 17 minutes? 17-minute mailbag episode for you folks out there. We uh, need please. people call in. Call in yeah, with you stuff. you got to call in. Email us. Call in. Um, we're going to have to start reading some old emails. Oh, my um, God. What's your favorite scary movie for Halloween? What's your favorite? Sc- oh, yeah. Let's ask some questions. Okay, guys. What are your Halloween plans? What's your favorite scary movie? Yeah. What should we be for Halloween? Do you... What are your kids going to be for Hall- Halloween? Oh, anything your, clever. What's your pet going to be? What do you think about razor blades in in candy? <laughs> Love Real them. or fake? Real, no, no. Love them or hate love them? It. Into it or not into it? Um, any funny Halloween stories? Any horrible <laughs> Halloween stories? Ghost stories? Care to tell us? Um, yeah, I wonder what people's favorite scary movies are because I feel like I've seen most of them. Yeah, me too. Which I'm always looking for more. Halloween Town. The best of the best if you like Disney I mean, movies. The Exorcist. I ju- which I just rewatched recently. Oh, I saw the good. new Exorcist. Yeah, it was, it was okay. Yeah, and then, did okay you see Talk it, to Me? Yes, I like Talk to Me. Talk to Me's great. Yeah, Talk That's to Me's really one. good. That's a um, good one. What was I also going? Oh, to The say? Descent. Have you seen The Descent? Have I seen The Descent? I've seen The Descent one and two, sister. Damn, because Maria hasn't seen it. Maria hasn't seen a lot of good movies. Yeah, uh, <laughs> society. Society from the 80s, one of the best horror movies ever made. It's Wait, so which fucking one's weird. Society. I sent you a photo of it. There's a picture of a head coming out oh, of the guy's butt. Yes. Uh, I, I don't want to ruin it. I mean, it's from the 80s, so it's not really ruining it. But there's a scene at the end that is the craziest movie I've the craziest scene I've ever seen in a movie to date. I literally the the twist in this horror movie is like you wouldn't believe it is so fucking weird it is crazy you d- it doesn't match the movie at all you're like what the Great. fuck is happening and it's so funny uh so have you seen society and what are your thoughts um anyways let us know there's another eclipse happening are you gonna do anything for it wait there We're is the ch- yes there was a solar eclipse and then i think it's on the 26th or the 29th there's a lunar eclipse what we're in between two eclipses right now so if you're feeling crazy then that's that's too much there's something weird going on with the planets right now 
Oh, what time is the lunar eclipse? Yeah, I don't understand. Lunar <laughs> eclipses, solar eclipses. Lunar would be where the sun is in front of the moon. Where the moon, lunar eclipse is where the moon moves into the Earth's shadow, causing the moon to be, oh, it's a dark moon. Those aren't as cool, I'll say. Isn't it like already dark out? Yeah. Those aren't as cool. Solar eclipses are fucking cool because it yeah, gets all that's where dark. It's at. Yeah. Except it didn't at my house. It got dark for everyone except for me and Maria and <laughs> Melissa were trying to like gaslight me, and I was like, "No, it's still well, it's it not was, happening well, we at were, my house." We were not in the direct path. We were. Ma- it was maybe like a sliver of the moon was yeah. eclipsed. Maria kept texting pictures of it like totally dark out with an eclipse. And I was like, it "It's not dark. happening at my house." <laughs> And Maria was like, no, it is. Just go outside. And then I went outside. I was like, I swear it's not happening here. Yeah, it's pitch um, black. It was weird. You didn't see it? Yeah. I was like, you're literally, this is like the movie Gaslight, literally. Because <laughs> they kept, in that movie, they kept changing the gas and the light and changing like how light it was. Um, oh, that's Anyways, funny. guys, please call in uh, or else we're just going to have to cancel the show. Or else. Uh, or else. Uh, I'm Ali Siegel. I'm Melissa Stettin. And that's all, folks. Bye. Bye. Thank you.